It's here, it's now, it's the final table of Premier League Poker. Our six players are trembling with anticipation, ready to put their mitts on the trophy and the winner's check of a cool quarter million dollars. 12 of the best poker players from around the world started out in the Premier League. We are down to our final table of just six. Last year's champion, Yuha <laughs> Helpy, bagged out. Phil Helmuth crashed to the bottom of the league. I want the limo. I'm ready to go. I don't want to hang out with it. Devilfish showed class coming back to make the playoffs, but missed out on the final to Andy Duke. I just want to say for the record that Fish is a better player than I am. Also threw via the playoffs, rolling the wall. This is the different year of Premier League for me. Tony G finished top of the league table. Yes! Baby! I am the greatest. With Andy Black close behind. Unbelievable. Six seats on the final table and players will be converting their points from the league standings into chips at the rate of every point worth 10,000 in chips. Tony G will be the chip leader with 380,000. Andy Black will have 330,000. And Alex Kravchenko still up top with 260,000. The shorter stacks are Lusk with 210,000, Roland DeWolf with 200 grand, and Annie Duke with 190,000. But as the blinds are starting very low, there's plenty of play in here. Our six finalists are about to play in the biggest match of their lives. Only one can be champion. After all of these episodes, after all of these games, it just comes down to one game. If I could beat them, obviously that would be fantastic. I would feel like that was a real feather in my cap. I'm going after all of them, each one of them. And I, I don't take pressure. The only result which I'm going for is to win it. I feel confident today, I feel really good. Um, you're gonna see maybe some fireworks. Uh, just gonna put on a good show and I really wanna take the title too. Tony G is here to win and to destroy them all. Here they come, six players, but only <laughs> one trophy. Yeah. Doesn't get any bigger than this. And Phil, what, what is the mental so mindset of, of the guys uh, from the green room but, um, and coming so into this match? Ago, well, you know, everybody seems to be pretty comfortable. Um, they know that uh, this show, look, the Premier League, this is the second year, and now would be a great chance to secure a victory because this show is growing every year. It's going to more countries. It's become bigger and bigger, and everybody knows it. <laughs> and Phil, uh, the points have been converted to chips on this final table. There's about one and a half million in play. We've got the yellow thousands, the blue two thousands, the red five thousands, the green ten thousands. Ooh, look at those yeah. green chips, baby. Woohoo! I haven't seen those in a year. With the blind starting at one in 2000, it's going to be flop turn and big river poker. No limit, Texas Hold'em, and checking raise is allowed blinds one in 2000 but just wonder i mean andy black and tony g have played big pot poker over aggressive but that's right now these big over bets if they make them i mean they're dangerous aren't they good luck everybody absolutely the blinds are one and two and people should be really patient they shouldn't you know shouldn't be too overly aggressive and uh and really that's the name of the game right now on the other hand if you have a read on somebody on this level or the next level, these are the levers to come over the top of somebody weak because you're not risking all of your chips. Let's find out if you win the first hand. If you lose, that's okay. The wolf with the queen jack of clubs and quick call from Tony G. I mean, and, so much I mean they both already. got just a minuscule not? percentage of their stack in. This feels like that deep stack 25,000 tournament Wait, we, at the Bellagio or something. You didn't come for the whole Premier League to lay down, Tony, yeah, just and, to be fair. Uh, yeah. Cool. And there's a 10-jack out there, too. So basically, at this point, Andy Black is totally dominated. He can't hit a 10, and it'll be the best hand. And he can't hit a jack, and it'll be the best hand. And look at this. What a look flop at for this. the wolf. Check. This could be the incredible thing. There could be an all-in on the first hand. <laughs> Roland DeWolf is about 200K deep, and Tony G has nearly twice that many. Now, Roland will think that he's hit sort of the, the Roland, monster, right? Tony G could insta move all in here. Roland could bet out, Tony G could say, I'm all in. <laughs> Not flush draw. A new strategy for Tony G. It's the first hand. He wants to play a little slower than usual. A club would be disastrous for DeWolf. He may in fact go out on the very first hand if a club comes off. Oh my. 
you know, Phil, I mean, is it possible? Everyone has sort of you talk around. Everybody is expecting Tony G to dunk off his chips in some huge pot. Has it looked like that in this first hand? Do you think he was setting the field up? No, I don't think. I, I think that Tony G will be Tony G. And, uh, you know, and I think that uh, Roland has checked here, and Tony's deciding what he wants to do. Friends? Is Roland playing for the check raise? I wouldn't well, be surprised friends. if he no bet 20,000, but he bet out 12. For his sake, I have to call this guy down. Is, uh, what, what is, does Roland think Tony might have a bigger queen, and is he trying to induce a bluff, perhaps, here? I mean, he might well, have to fire a really big one to get me off. Yeah. Right. Here comes the club. Check. Wow. Queens check. are good. And now, okay. Tony G doesn't have to bluff. Like he has ace high, so... You'd like to see my hand? Yep. Does a pair win? Pair wins. And Roland thinks he has Everyone a big, big, wow. big hand. He has no idea that the ace high flush is right behind him. You play careful, Roland. Wow. Flop good. Roland, go for She can't give me a I feel like I don't like Tony had the runaway chip you. lead and points lead in this Premier so League early on. The last two matches, I don't think he had his concentration, Phil, and just got this Pass. sense this evening that this is cool. something that is really important to him. He wants to win. Cool. Cool. And look at this. He limped in with the eights. That's Phil Helmuthian. Yeah. Something I might do. Oh, and Annie has the ace king. Raise eight thousand more. Now that's an easy call for Roland. Now that's a great thing about just calling with the eights. Is now you can call a raise. If he would have raised and Annie would have re-raised, he had to fold. Yeah. Now he can take a flop okay. with the best hand. By the way, <laughs> of course Tony G somehow gets it in there with Queen Jack, and and you know that's Tony's you strength and weakness. Well. I mean, Wrong playing place. Queen Jack here is definitely not something that I would do or many. Of the great players would do, but as it turns out, he's not in that bad a shape. Roland's not worried about the two players that were behind him. He's just looking for the eight. And sure enough, there it is. This the G-man. The G-man again. And Annie's firing out on the bluff. Is she speeding here? Well, if she hasn't, she doesn't know how tight Roland's been playing, and so. Roland's caught in a pickle here because he may figure out that Annie, that he has Annie beat, and call the 15,000, only to be surprised from behind. Cool. With the bet and the call, I mean, even though Tony's got the best hand, it's a great flop for him. It's not really, like, that strong. <laughs> yeah, but he can find out for cheap. He can make it 35,000. And there's nothing wrong with the call, mind you. But, I mean, he could make it, like, 35,000 here or 40,000, and they're both going to insta-fold. Um, okay, he decided to play the more conservative way. Now, Annie knows she's beat here, and she's going to give up on this pot unless an ace or king comes. She said, what did I get myself into here? Tony's decision to call maybe because he's on the button has position? Well, that gives Annie a flush draw. Check. Check. She checks. Roland checks. 30,000. And Tony bets 30,000. Now, Annie does have the king of hearts here. But she pretty much knows she doesn't have the best hand, and she also has to worry about Tony G having a made flush. So, you know, she could call here. There's already 110,000 out there, or she could fold here. Either one is okay, um, but it's pretty unlikely one of them has a nut flush. So I'd be leaning a little bit more towards a call. I certainly don't mind a fold. Phil, this is the biggest pot of the night. Yes. And Tony G's and taking look at it down. That, you know, and I mean, Tony G, in an unorthodox hand, in an unorthodox way, has won the chips again. And really, that hand should have come down to Roland and Annie, and, and you know, and uh, but it didn't. didn't what else could I have under the gun? I had a small raise. And no, you're right. I got re-raise. I folded. <laughs> I was just making extra sure. I know it was the only hand. You could have. Some of your fans were not happy. <laughs> raised six thousand. Some of your fans. Were, did I call? Some of your fans weren't happy. See if I hit off here. I know they weren't satisfied Pass. with that. <laughs> you might cancel the subscription. Pass. Take care, Roland. I'm not done yet. I have to look at my hand. Pass. Still oh, the value. first I'm level, value. the final table. And I, six I don't want to add you <laughs> That's how I knew I could call Hanny. Head up flow. between the wolf and Kruchenko. <laughs> I knew I was getting value from behind me. And uh, this is a relationship that's, that's going to build, I think. Wow, what a flop. Check. Roland has flopped a straight and a flush draw. Kravchenko's flopped ace-jack, and he checked it. <laughs> that that's strength? interesting. Four is a bingo card here. Four is really world. nice. Yeah, well, 
If he had to miss, that's a nice that's miss, because now he can run with a nine, a four, or a diamond. Five thousand. And, and Roland, you might see him oh, raise here. Five thousand is so weak. Yeah, well, it was weak, have but... Um, you have to pay me. I could have anything. Well, there's a couple things in play here, isn't there? Because, I mean, Kravchenko knows his hand doesn't look like an ace, right? Because he checked the flop. Like Kravchenko is not going to fold his hand here. The only question is whether he re-raises. Kravchenko played the hand to try to get set. Roland to bluff. Now, Roland bluffs, so he got what he wanted. If I call, are you going to bluff? This is an information gathering exercise. You want me to bluff again? Or you will play lo uh, like a pussy. I love the way yeah. Kravchenko is talking here. <laughs> this, this is one reason I picked him. You probably him. have to call again to win the pot. He has I a roll and... You, you, <laughs> you, you probably have to call again. He's talking to Roland, and uh, he's got easy. Roland talking, and last time Roland was talking, uh, Kravchenko made probably the right play. probably have to play. call one more street. I think you're on a diamond. Bro. Then if a diamond comes, you have to fall. On the diamond draw. You look really silly if it comes diamond and then... Okay, stop looking. <laughs> <laughs> if it comes diamond... Look at that, Roland there, still that. is only a 2-1 underdog. Yeah. It's a real There's one. a lot of outs. It's a big pot for, the, bet, for the guys. I have to bet the diamond at least. Roland, I mean, he has three bingo cards. That's one of his bingo cards, an offsuit nine or an offsuit four. Bingo! Now he has to bet the right amount to get paid off. I would think 30, 35,000 would be perfect. Uh, he might even try to bet 50, 60,000 to make it look like a desperation bluff. Here's the thing, Kravchenko cannot fold. The reason he cannot fold is because he correctly read Roland as being weak on the turn, and the nine made no difference in his mind. 45,000. I think you'll see a quick call here, probably. That's the problem with, with someone drawing out on you on the river, especially with a hidden card like a nine or a four, is that you know you had him beat in the turn. And so it's hard to then change your mind. Uh, no, I think I'm losing. Well, I'll give him credit for knowing that, but I think he's going to call anyway. I think he's going to do the information gathering exercise one. Unless time. Roland talks, Kravchenko's calling. It's Roland could talk, and then he's going to lose his actions. This is great. It's, it's, a, it's a big bet, sort of, stack-wise. 45K. Very unlucky for uh, Kravchenko here. Hard to fold the knife. You know, we have a lo an old saying. Better lose than be bluffed. <laughs> and sleep well. Sleep. And DeWolf <laughs> opened his mouth. I that's mean, the, that's, that's the Norwegian mistake. national motto. Yeah. He's Straight. getting called anyway, five, though. Six, five, six. Jeez, Black said five, <laughs> six of diamonds. Well, look, I mean, you know, if it had to be five, six of diamonds or six, ten of diamonds or ten jack of diamonds, so five, six was the most likely was the most likely hand. So, Kravchenko, there's really nothing. You can't say Kravchenko played the hand badly. He knew that Roland had nothing on the turn. He was right, and the nine made him call. And I don't care how good you are. That, that, that same situation nails me and nails some of the other great players when someone's out bluffing and they hit a mystery card. Roland DeWolf always wears his heart on his sleeve, and sometimes last night's dinner. Loads of talent. He was the first player to win both the WPT and an EPT and has $3 million in tournament earnings the last two years. My record speaks for itself, but I'm not going to say that I'm the greatest poker player in the world. But I would say that I'm one of the very, very top players to watch. And when people turn on the TV and they see me in a poker game, I know that people are going to like stay tuned in if they like poker because they're going to see these things happening. I want to make the right decisions and I want to play well. And I'm hungry to give a good, good account of myself. There's certain players who, who are great showmen, you know, and that's what, that's what I hope I am. So it's it's all, all about the final bit. table here <laughs> for Phil Helmuth. And yeah, no so surprise that Roland DeWolf has come out of the blocks on a mission. Roland might have called. 
Paul. No. Marcel is uh, kind of... <laughs> he's playing an absolutely wide open game and he's kind of just sitting there not saying anything. I mean, he has been the loosey-goosey at this table so far. Yes. Paul. <laughs> The wolf's made it, I think, 8,000. I want to dance with you. Are you going to make a play against me? No. Nah. I think he made Pass. it 8,000 with ace-10, yeah. Just and so Tony called with ace-4. Tony's in bad shape oh. here. <laughs> and uh, and Tony should probably should have folded <laughs> ace-4 because <laughs> Roland is not going to raise a limping Marcel Lusk without having a hand here. Just get 30,000. Only six it. more. Lusk had to call Sorry. as well. And Roland has flopped a okay. straight. Right, Lusk has flopped top pair. Check. Let's see what happens here. <laughs> and they both check to Tony G. All the pressure's <laughs> on me now. You can check. It's unbelievable. It's unbelievable. I check. I mean, I check. check. This is the traditional knock Friends. against the King Seven, isn't it? I, yeah, sure. And I mean, that, that was a perfect card for Roland. So, I mean. 10,000. And Roland, I'd like to see him make it 30,000 here, or maybe 20 or 25. Let's see what he does. Take it the way you want. Raise to 40,000. 40, that's Very a big friendly. raise. What is he trying to make it look like what for Marcel? What do you Marcel? do with aces now, Alex? Well, or is it, yes. he has a tough spin. You know, Mar calls. Marcel, he has given Marcel a chance to fold his hand here. I would like to see him mess around. I'd like to see him play around. There's a high probability Marcel's drawing dead. But because there's two flush draws, and he's going to give Marcel a chance to fold. Yeah, and I just don't like that raise. I mean, there's a high probability that... That's what happens to most of the poker players on the planet today when they flop the nuts. Their opponent's drawing dead, and they don't realize it. And because there's two flush draws out there, you know, he made the, the big raise there. And I'd like to see him get a little cuter with it and maybe make it 15,000 more. But that's just that's just the way I play, so. That was a nice bet by we're working together to get me out of my face. Oh, his bad luck gone uh, yesterday. Probably. He had a flush draw? Yeah, not flush draw. Tony lied again. He had a flush draw, right? Draw. But there were all black cards on board. He had the ace four of hearts. Race to right. 6,000 title. See, I like it. Roland, got, he won a pot by raising before the flop. I only picked it up on so the only way to beat come and raising again. He's just to call it blind. He didn't win when he limped with the eights. If he's going to win raising in, then keep raising in. If I find something, it's not good to raise. And then I check it blind, then he can do it blind. Marcel has called blind so from the big blind. Well, I think Marcel looked at his hand. If he says he didn't look, then it's possible. Marcel has flopped a straight, and DeWolf has flopped top pair. I don't think DeWolf can check this. Wow. Because I might be... Hitting a five or a three or an eight, you, know. you could have it already. An I ace know. would be a disaster for rolling an ace or a seven. It does have Maybe it. I should bet it blind then. Nine thousand blind. Nine thousand. I should bet him blind. I didn't see my card. That's sick. That's a sick. <laughs> you understand? I can't fold then. Two more. Two more. Now, of course, blind. Roland, <laughs> I have to play blind. Roland doesn't know it, but he's rooting for a straight card. He wants a 5, an 8, or a 10, or a 3, yeah. or something that will allow him to fold. This is the oddest hand I've seen in a while. He's not playing blind anymore, is he? No, no, he looked now, but 35,000 gives Roland a chance to fold his hand. This, this is kind of the mystery and beauty of Marcel Lisk. Wow, wow, it's pretty sick stuff, huh? You have a chance to get away from the hand rolling there. He gave you the door so by overbetting. Well. I mean, Roland's been wa Oh, I can't believe he called. I cannot believe I said Roland it. called. They did. They flipped the nuts when they played. Of course, I had to play you like this. I cannot you believe Roland I called. He's been in the booth. He's seen Marcellus rarely I made a bluff throughout the Premier League. And, uh, and then you look I think he had an easy Holy fold there. They've played one level, Phil, and um, it's not been short of action. Tony G, kind of where he was, but it's not like he's locked his chips up. Obviously, DeWolf's the big mover, yeah. And Annie is smart enough to know at 174 that the blinds are small. Who cares if I'm in the last place? There's no need to panic. Lines up to two and four thousand, and you look around this table, say, who's got that championship caliber? He did say that. He did claim All of them. Oh, he someone wrote it and someone stole it from him?
complete toss-up, really. I think it's going to get down to who wants it the most. Speaking of desire, heart, and commitment, there's the man himself. Well, here we go. Tony G limping in with King Tan and Kravchenko, this time playing the ace three of diamonds. Tony's been kind of mixing it up, the limps and the raises on the button. Wow, okay, so Kravchenko has flopped the nut flush draw. Tony G has flopped three kings and they both checked. That's Tony, so oh. tricky, is... Cool. Well, that's very tricky. He just called. Wow. Yeah, but... I mean, wow. seeing as how Alex has nothing... Well, Kravchenko does have ace high. He has a hand he could check down here. So, that, that you know, that yes. works... That's going to work out well for him. Because <laughs> I don't think he has to play now. 20,000. Has Tony sort of played this hand to get paid off by a queen is that what's in his mind or well he he's playing hands like i've never seen him play before i mean he, he actually just limp in with king 10 flop trips check the flop and just called on fourth street now he could have made more money if he knew that kravchenko had the nut flusher but you can't know what your opponent has so i like the way he's played this hand and i don't see kravchenko calling him here could could tony have a deuce here <laughs> call to bluff <laughs> call to bluff Done. He called to bluff me, yeah? Looks like. He's thinking like you're thinking, Phila. He, he's never seen Tony G play three kings like this. Exactly, I mean. I can't criticize a call here. Oh, my. I still think of, he's probably going to fold, but... It's expensive for him to call stack-wise. But obviously, it's expensive for him to let a pot go if he's winning. I think if Tony G opens his mouth, Kravchenko will power fold instantly. Tony G, whenever he was strong and said something, I realized it instantly when I was playing against him and laid it down. Yeah, he said nothing. No reaction at all. And if Kravchenko knows him pretty well, he... He and called it. Tony sold that wow. all night long. Wow. And Tony G playing a totally different style of poker has induced a bluff by Kravchenko with ace high. And in Kravchenko's mind, he's thinking, I would have lost money anyway because I had the nut flush draw if the hand was played faster. That's another reason he called. Wow. He's a complex man, Tony G. Poker-wise, he's won plenty of titles. Of course, the Moscow Millions, the Bad Boys. He has been both lauded and lambasted, but his heart, very pure. In tournaments, I'm donating all my money to charity. And I think I'm fortunate to be in that position. Uh, so I'll do the same for the Premier League. I think it makes me feel good about it and it feels I'm doing a job for someone, so I have to perform well and win. You have to feel that you can do good things in your life and with your life and affect others in a good way. And if you can do as much of that as possible, then that's the, the, the most important thing for anyone, I think. It's the most important thing for me. People are tuning in to see Phil Helmer. Yeah. Well, he's out. commentating, so that's good, yeah. so they're yeah. watching then. Otherwise, they wouldn't be watching. Uh, there's been a lot of tuning in to see Annie Duke as well. <laughs> they want to see Phil put you another hand every week. <laughs> I can guarantee that. Ooh, that hurts, Roland. <laughs> I'll be nice to you, though. She gets the most hits on YouTube. She gets the most fans on TV. Phil, for oh. sure, has way more hits on YouTube than I do. For sure. It's not true. <laughs> that must be true. Tony has the most. I have the most, actually. Yeah. On YouTube. No, I'm I didn't say the most. I said Phil has more than Lusk, to see. trips. Yeah. You have more see fans than any behave. of us. Really <laughs> <bad>. <laughs> Your fans could beat our oh. fans up. And Andy is. If we put all our fans together. Making a long call here from Tony G. Play, you'd have us outnumbered. <laughs> cool. So, Tony, I don't blame him for firing out with ace high. Andy Black called needing an eight. And Marcel is smooth playing.
trips because he saw Tony Smooth play trips and win some money. And I mean, the call by Andy going for the eight, that's at that stage, he's hoping Tony has three tens, right? <laughs> Marcel checked. 20,000. Beautiful. Oh. Lusk has played this hand just gorgeously. He's gotten Tony G to throw in another 20,000. On a stone cold bluff, you see the zero next to Tony's percentage of winning. That's not good. That's a bagel. Yeah, I mean, the worst thing for Lusk right now is if Tony actually hits a pair, because then he can, he can stop bluffing. 20,000. And that's it. Tony can't do anything. He has to lay this hand down now because even if Lusk had seven, eight, he just made sevens. So, I mean, but Lusk has played this hand masterfully. I don't know if you were here for one of Tony's very first matches in the Premier League, but he, Marcel flopped a full house and Tony bet it two streets. He had 25,000 left and then Marcel bet into him on the river. And if he had checked, Tony would have done his entire stack. As it was, Tony came back with the 25,000 and won the heat. I mean, I mean that I'm was sure just gorgeous play <laughs> yeah. on Lust's part. I mean, I, I really like that play. Over a million dollars in prize money in the Premier League, $540,000 of which is on that final table. Sixth place guaranteed $20,000, plus what the player has already won. Fifth place gets thirty k. Fourth with forty thousand, third with sixty thousand. But the big money in the top two spots: the runner-up getting a hundred twenty thousand dollars, and the winner a quarter million dollars plus the trophy and the title. Is he probably making on the A's test you? Yeah, he should have done. It's been interesting to see what I would have done next. Yeah, <laughs> either I didn't know. <laughs> I probably had the same hand. Raised to twelve thousand total. Why? The hooks for Annie, triple in the bet. Yeah. Early up. Just days 10. Yes. Uh-oh. Yes, the other day. Uh-oh, Kravchenko with two aces. And he's a short stack, too, so he could get this on with Annie. Three raise. Yeah, and he ran into pair over pair, the queens against the kings, but this is deeper and this is only jacks. I she, mean, she she doesn't have to get involved here. She really doesn't. I mean, the the thing that doesn't work in her favor is the fact that Kravchenko is the short stack. He's also the one who played a really big pot against her. Uh, I think in their last match, they have history. They I have cer history. Look, I certainly don't mind her call. I mean, Kravchenko could have had ace-king. Uh, I don't mind her call. So let's see how she plays from here. Pot's already big, and uh, I, you know, I'd like to. I'd like to say that the greatest players in the world usually know when their opponent has aces. It's something about you usually know when your opponent has the best possible hand, and so let's see if Annie can, you know, can recognize that and get away. Because I believe because he has aces, she doesn't have to lose many more chips this hand. Bank is oh, this feels treacherous. This feels so <laughs> treacherous. Phil. I'll be buying by next year. Until you lose one bet, <laughs> yeah. that will be the end. I'll be working for poker for a long time. Ten years. Going to be at the bottom of the pyramid. It's not easy for her to get away from this hand, but yeah. she's supposed to be able to look. It's just that <laughs> he's she, Kravchenko is re-raised before the flop. He has the strongest possible hand. So there should be something going off in her head saying he has the strongest possible hand, and now he fired again on the flop. So I think she should be able to fold this hand, whereas maybe two levels from now, she would have to go broke with it. He has a total of about 65,000 back, so it, if any is going to play this pot to the end, it's going to cost... Oh, no! Cool. I think that was a misstep on Annie's part. I don't like the way she played the hand. I think that, you know, you should know when you're, you know, the greatest players know when they're against the two aces and... Definitely a misstep. Either folding or moving all in. I believe she should have folded that hand. I'm not going to say it was a terrible play. She does have jack. She does have an over pair. I've had a few of those this tournament. It's Annie's Premier League. Yeah. Sort of on the edge here. She has chips yeah. back, but not a lot look. of them. It's Alex all in, obviously. Yep, yep, yep. There's just two jacks in the deck.
And uh, these are tough situations, Phil. I mean, uh, you know, how do you get out of them? How do you get out of them? Well, Kravchenko has not come over the top, you know, too often. And then, and then, and then he fired out big on the flop too. And it's just, I just, I just think that she could have gotten away that time. New to the Premier League this year, American Annie Duke is considered one of the top female players in the world. Her biggest result, that Tournament of Champions victory where she throttled Phil Helmuth head up and a World Series bracelet to boot. You know, the, the prize structure in this final table, Phil. Uh, if you bet the river, there's... Um, the look like a professional player. Sorry, the, <laughs> the payoffs from <laughs> between 6th, 5th, and 4th, and 3rd are so much less than the jumps in the top spot. So I don't think people have the mind, well, we're just going to hang around and let Annie get knocked out here. I mean, it's... Or, or will they? No way. I mean, you know, and look at this crap. Okay. And Annie's going to insta-call here. She had to insta-call with ace-jack. Oh. And she's unlucky that Kravchenko has ace jack no beat. <laughs> she feels she has no shot. She a, said she has no shot. I, I think somehow she's going to win the hand. All right, so what do you if, think, I hit the, if I hit the ace or jack, I'm okay. Good luck on you. I don't know. Sometimes when it's just not going your way. If she could win this, I mean, she's I right back. I don't oh, feel it, though. She's a little nervous she didn't have a knife anyway. She was unlucky to pick up jacks against aces, and... You know, and uh, it would seem Snowman, would seem like she should be lucky after here. Nine, six. He didn't have a Christmas. But who knows? After nine, six. That, it's not that. looking that way. Yeah. Oh, if she does, induce her force, I'll not bad. I mean, me. obviously she wants an ace or jack, but deuce her force, not up. bad. Oh, no, I've maybe, given up a long jack, time ago. Jack waste, Don't give up. Believe me. No. And that's it. That's Annie's Premier boy. League is down to one card. No, She's getting an ace or jack. May the best man win. It's very exciting. Oh, it's an ace. Wow. The bone on the I end. Like and the my bone mic hit for oh. Tony G in the last match on the end. He called it. He said, I uh, think the ace of diamonds is coming. And I did. Came. I was taking my mic. I was pulling a devil fist. And she is away. back. Six great poker players around this table, but only one can be Premier League champion and pick up a cool quarter million. Kings. Welcome Please. back. Yeah, yeah, like Looking at the leaderboard, uh, Annie uh, Duke's uh, fingernails uh, taking a uh, racking. Uh, but she's tough, uh, hanging on in there. Yeah. Really? And it's DeWolf nice. now chip leader. When you consider that he's coming via the playoffs route, what a man to get his head back together and that smile. That's not true. This could be his night. This is his time. Class. Tony G folded an ace. Wow. Raised to 17,000. Here's Kramchenko with the 8-7. Right. And Annie Four with eight. a really nice all in there. I mean, let's give her credit. Um, she's made it automatic, Plus. and it's not that automatic, is it? It's not automatic. I mean, I don't think Kravchenko can call. I think it's 60 more. Yeah. No. The reason why I like it is she's right, you know? Right. You know, Alex has not really been a guy to sort of get out of line with his first raises, is he? I mean, not. well, he's definitely out of line this time, and uh, and she's impressed. she's gone ahead and she's she's made a very nice re-raise. Do you want action? What? Do you want action? I'll tell you the same thing I did the other day. I yeah. hope you call. I hope you fold. <laughs> If you call, I double up. If you fold, I win the money. I don't care. Let me answer for Annie. She does truth. not want action here. She does not want action. I'm happy if way. he folds, she's over 100,000 risk free. And if he calls, she's only going to have 160, but she's only 58% chance to stay in the tournament. She would love to see him fold. Okay. I wow, like I'm really know. shocked that, like. that he called this. Um, I, I'm shocked. This is nice. I do not like the call oh. for 60000 That is Russian seven, mathematics, eight. by the way. Priced in with the perhaps, eight high. Perhaps I have no shot. an indication that he feels like <laughs> he, he needs, he's, he's got to go it's for it based G on the prize right structures. That Kravchenko has already doubled through Annie. She's oh, looking to double through him again now for the second time. No. Jack or ace, it's Deuce over. Even a heart Jack. isn't so bad ace for Annie. Heart. Any heart makes her really big. Oh. 
That's all right. Okay, okay, she's got okay. it down to six out. She just has to judge a seven okay. or eight in the river, and she's back with 165,000. Put a blank out there, please. I can't look. I can't look. She can't look away either. No. Seven oh my wow. God! What a beat! Right. Wow! I hated the it's call just, with the you know, eight-seven of spades there, right you, uh, right? but for some reason he okay, made luck, the everyone. call, and for some reason he, he hit the hand. Phil, she's been a credit to this yeah, Premier right. League. She's been a credit to herself. Uh, yeah, it's the Russian I mean, she's played. She's played some great. She's poker. mad. Listen to her Russian yeah. mathematics. She's turned that out there. Russian mathematics. She's mad because she knows that he's not supposed to call. Kravchenko made one of the worst calls I've ever seen. I mean, not as bad as some of Tony G's calls in the preliminaries, but it was a really bad call. I mean, he was, it was mathematically just terrible. And, you know, I'm not saying that he's um, a bad player. He's not. He's a really good player, but that was really ridiculous. It's really tight. Just look at this. Average chips are like 300,000, Phil. This is crazy. I mean, the range of chips that they have here between 282 and 352. I mean, it's anybody's ball game. This is open season, baby. I mean, Andy Black's a short stack, but it's marginal. I mean, he ain't really a short oh, stack. Ah, Roland was reaching <laughs> with the king nine. Tony G's right behind him with king 10. Cool. He called. Is Kravchenko going to get busy with the deuce eight? He's already done it once. Kravchenko has laid down nice. ace jack. He's re raced with weak four. hands. He was right when he re raced with weak okay. hands. He was wrong nice. when he laid down the ace jack. The, the average stack is 50 big blinds. Wow. You like that, don't you? If you're I a love poker it. player? I love it. You want to have a chance to play. Cool. And Black is going to play Tony G. Perfect. Tony G has three outs in the deck. Black just check called. Black gets to check it again. Check. Nice. Give Tony G one more time to bluff it. Check. Tony G's giving up, though. Good on you, Tony. <laughs> <laughs> I don't always. And you know what? And you know what? This bullet could work. Uh, no Not way. No? Well, I shouldn't say no way. 30,000 is a tough bet. I wouldn't blame Andy Black for folding here. But the way he played the hand, he played the hand to allow Tony G to bluff. Tony G fell into the trap and bluffed. Just from Andy's point of view, does it look like it should be, could be a small spade? Or if it's a spade, does it have to be a big spade? I mean, Well, Tony G's not betting with an ace. So Tony G has a spade or doesn't have a spade. I think that, you know, uh, basically it's a really, Andy Black is more times than not going to just have mm. to lay this hand down. If he makes a call, it's a great call. Or it's not maybe a great call, but it's a very good call. Aye, aye, aye. He's got a good sniffer on what him. What kind of nothing have you got, Tony? Black. He's got a good sniffer on him. Scale of one to ten. I like this. He's got him talking. And if he gets Tony to say a word. His Black's quick calls and quick folds are disasters. His slow ones are always bang on. I think he's calling Phil. I don't know. Nope. No, he laid it down. Maybe not. Tony G with a nice move, really. I mean, and I love the way Black played that hand. I mean, he checked to him all those times. He just couldn't quite close it. But King Tenor. Don't blame him for laying it down. The T6 team, two left. Before Phil, the, these five-handed dynamics are just feeling a lot different to me than six. I mean, how has the game changed with, with Annie Duke gone? I mean... What's what's happening here? It's just got a little sedate. Well, I mean, the table is certainly not as pretty. <laughs> 20,000 for Marcel with the king five. Look at this, Roland. Roland has two sevens, so. And uh, the last time Marcel raised in this exact position, Roland just called. Cool. He's done it again. It was okay. a seven last time. I don't <laughs> mind the just call this time. Look at that. Tony G picked up base ten again. And laid it down. <laughs> He's picked up ace ten a bunch of times. <laughs> Been a magnificent ace ten player, hasn't he? Yes, he has. And yeah, of course, you know. Now look, here's the, Roland could have raised with the sevens, but but you know, if he if he felt Marcel was weak, he could have raised. But but I don't I don't mind the call. 
It's quads. Like I was saying, it was a great call. It's just quads. So let's see if let's see if he can play this hand. I love the check on the flop here, right behind him. Maybe checked a little too quickly. Lusk has got his head out the window. Well, you know, Lusk may pick up that Roland's strong. Roland's flop quads. Now he's going to take a, a stab at it. Now, Roland, if he can find a way to just make a slow call where he seems really weak, he may get Lusk to bluff one more time. Because Lusk can always put him on a flush draw. We know Marcel has nothing, but aren't there a lot of draws out there that Roland might want to, I don't know, pressure a little bit? Or Raised like to 80,000. And Roland's gone the other way. He's going to make a big move and try to, by raising so much, look weak to Lusk. But, I mean, I think he's basically given Lusk an easy fold. And fine with these massive, massive hands that the really good players play them. It looks to, to people that it's like the same yes. as having nothing, isn't it? I um, just hate Roland's yeah, race, there, race personally. Well, I hate it, but I mean, you know, for some people it works, but I, I've, I've had a lot more success when I flop the nuts by just, you know, study, 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 study call, and then because more often than not they actually have nothing and mm -hmm. they're going to take one more. You know, yeah. bluff at it. Now, of course, also yeah, a king could have come on the river, and that might have been worth fifty thousand. Four sevens for DeWolf. Uh, you feel good. You feel good when you flop quads. It's nice, oh. you know. And he, he picked up a lot of chips there, and you know he's a chip leader now. He has almost four hundred thousand. He didn't say anything. He didn't say I flop quads yet. He hasn't told anybody. Oh. We'll see if he can oh. keep that in. <laughs> it's tough. <laughs> it's, you wait, you it's wait tough. one more, you get more. You get a roll. I'm happy to take it there. I check one. I had the best hand, huh? Check on the I'm happy to take it there. I had the best hand. <laughs> He's trying to basically say I had nothing. Check, check. Um, well, we know that he... You got ace king on the best hand. Marcel's, king? Marcel's getting a little busy here these yeah, last no couple bad. hands, Phil. What's going on? I mean, is he just getting sort of out bad situations flop-wise? And well, he's gonna have to piece this one together. Check it. Check. Kind of got each other. I wouldn't be surprised if. Well, look at this. Tony G's probably gonna bet what fifteen thousand. Yeah. Insta called because Marcel has eights with a straight draw. They both. Don't want to make two pair because the other would make a straight. Tricky. Tricky. It's a lovely card. Marcel with a defensive bet of 15,000. 15, and Tony can't really raise it. So good defense. I mean, Tony G may have charged him 20 or 30 or 40,000 there on the river. Jack was bad for you. I was in good shape. Team is bad for you. Oh yeah, it's a nice pot. I mean, the pots are starting to kind of creep stuff. up there, yeah. sample size-wise. Tony G was his chip leader again. A common recurrent theme so far. And Lusk has dusted off somewhere near 100K, Phil. That's my limit. Little He's bits and bobs. <laughs> He's still got Seven and a half oh, right Look. about where he started. The Flying Dutchman. Yeah, it's no accident. His chips are flying. <laughs> <laughs> you know, he's the short stack on this table, and everybody's kind of looking over at him, thinking, "What is he up to?" Race to seventeen thousand total. There's the queen jack. Cool. Marcel's nice. going to call seventeen with ace three. He, he's. Uh... And look at this, Tony G with ace queen. Oh, now what? Cool. Now, why the call, Phil? Why the call? I mean, with Marcel in the middle there, and yeah, is it that's, just... Yeah, it's peculiar. It's puzzling to me. But, but look, as it turns out, he has both players dominated. And he's flopped an ace. Oh, he's just he's just wrapped Marcel up completely. I mean, it's possible that Marcel could actually go broke on this hand. Wow. 
And look Press at this, they test. both flopped an ace. Cool. And Kravchenko's the one that bluffed out at it. Cool. Oh, this is really, really, well, somewhere between tricky and ugly, isn't it? This is really ugly for Marcel. Right now he needs a, a three, and only a three, basically. Tony could have anything. Yeah. Tony could have the 10-8 for that, man. Look at this, Kravchenko backed his way into a jack. So now... <laughs> now a lot of interesting things could happen I mean, here. if they check here, then Marcel has to check, doesn't he? Well, let's back. see what Tony G does do here. I mean, it's the action's on him, and he's Check. trying to decide what to do. But Tony's checked, and now Alex is checked. Can Marcel be smart enough to make the check here? If he does check, he could hit a three to get doubled up, basically. Check. Okay, he needs a three. Queen would be a disaster for Kravchenko, though. A queen or an ace is really bad. Queen is bad for Kravchenko. Ace is bad for Lusk. This pot feels so sneaky. Five. It's some... Um, no, it's and Tony here. G is just... I mean, he's not the one you really expect to have anything. You know, except the way he usually plays poker, he's, he might... He could have anything here. Now, the 6-8 did hit, and the 8-10 did hit. And so Kravchenko... Made a good laydown, but Marcel, I think, is going to have to call this. He wants to think about it, doesn't he, Phil? Marcel can't fold, let's be honest. Cool. Okay. Tony G, perfect. Played the smooth. hand really, really, really well. What did you like best about it? Well, he smooth called before the flop, and then uh, he smooth called on the flop, and okay, then Tony. he waited till all the blanks hit and, and bet 35000 for value, uh, making sure that someone with an ace has to call him. He's played trappy. He's played sneaky. He's got a big chip lead now. That, that was one of the biggest pots we've seen tonight. Man, this final table is setting up nice. Tony G continuing his domination in the chip lead. But how about DeWolf? A virtual double up since they started, and he owns this table right now. Black, Kravchenko, Lusk, they've held steady. They don't want to do that for too long. We're one player down, but still five remain. Next time, one of these players will be crowned Premier League champion and pocket a quarter of a million dollars.